They were the composers behind The Little Mermaid on Broadway, and Glenn Slater and Alan Menke then joined forces for The Bronx Tale, the musical. As our critic at large, Greg Moody, reports, they had to find their way from comedy to tragedy through the music. It's 3 a.m. in the Bronx, New York. Chaz Palminteri's A Bronx Tale, the musical, is a show that depends on its own ability to recreate a time, a style, a feeling, a place, and do it through both characters and music. This show gets all of its juice from its authenticity, and it gets its authenticity from Chaz Palminteri. Chaz would sit in all of our songwriting sessions making sure that every word was a word that would have been said back in that era, mm -hmm. making sure every note was a note that he could have heard over a car radio back in that era. But in that authenticity, the show flies all over the place emotionally. The music has to keep up. It has tragedy and comedy, everything wrapped up together. And the score has to, has to do all of those things as well. Um, but one of the great things about working with Alan Menken is that he is sort of a master of emotional temperature. He knows, like nobody else I've ever worked with or even heard, to be honest, how to create in a piece of music an emotion. He can nail that, and then my job working with him is to stitch together the thoughts behind those emotions so that you're led from one emotion to the next on a very smooth course. It's the full force of a musical that takes you right into the heart of a neighborhood with all the joy and drama and heartache that lives there. I'm critic at large Greg Moody covering Colorado First. A Bronx Tale, the musical, is now on stage at the Buell Theater. For tickets, head to our website, cbsdenver.com. We've got a link right into the Buell box office.